So I did a thing. I started my own art shop, even though the market was not asking for that, but I did it anyway. So roll the intro. Hello, I am Cecilia and I started an Etsy shop about two months ago because I'm the kind of person people would say to you're so good at making personalized handmade gifts and I needed an outlet for all my creative shenanigans. As the owner of an art shop, I quickly realized that between designing, packaging and the administration stuff and of course the mandatory social media presence, I basically chose a 24-7 job as my side hustle. Do I lay awake at night questioning my life's choices? Yes. But do I also wake up wanting to create and share anyway? Also yes. So I have been watching an insane amount of studio vlogs lately and I just really wanted to make my own and take you guys with me on a weekend in my life. We have a lot to do. First off, this is kind of my restocking weekend. Two of my listings sold out and others are running very low on quantity, so it is time for me to restock all of them. So I have to make some stickers and art prints and I also have to work on a few new designs that I want to launch in the shop pretty quickly, so you'll also see me drawing quite a bit in this video. I also need to run some errands, I ran out of supplies, I'll have to go to the store later today. Yeah, hi, editing voiceover me here. I somehow failed to mention that I will also be packing some orders in this video, along with some other fun chaotic things such as studying and shipping orders. Oh, and of course I will show you how I make stickers in this video, so that's fun. Um, well, good job past me. Anyway, that's all. Okay, bye. But without further ado, let's get into it. This weekend I'm restocking almost all of my sticker designs and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys how I make my stickers. So when we're done looking at my sticker machine, let me give you a quick rundown of my sticker process. It's very uninteresting to film the formatting part portion, so I didn't do that, but I make my designs in Procreate and then format them in the Silhouette Portrait Studio space. Let's start creating by opening the Silhouette Portrait. Before I can cut the sticker, I have to first print it. So I use this vinyl sticker paper to print the formatted designs, which I can do straight from the Silhouette Portrait Studio space. I had to play around with settings a bit to find the perfect clarity and resolution, but my printer likes to think of the sticker paper as glossy photo paper. The printed design has to be put onto the cutting mat, which is a bit of a finicky process because a wrong placement can really affect the cutting lines. I make sure to wipe the paper before laminating because I don't want dust bubbles. Laminating itself is the scariest part of the process because a lot can go wrong. I don't own a laminator so I do it by hand uh, using self-adhesive lamination sheets and I press them on using a ruler. I do it kind of slowly to make sure I push out any potential bubbles and I don't make ruffles or any edges. And then it's cutting time. I load the mat onto the Silhouette Portrait 3 and the machine cuts perfectly through the laminate and also the vinyl. The last part is the most fun. You see a different design here by the way because my phone battery died earlier. Um, you take off the excess paper and then carefully, using a metal blade, take the stickers off the sticky mat. And then they're done! Yay! I also just love how much mess I make on a restock day. It's real bad. 
so things do go wrong sometimes and as you can see the laminate was all over the place here and my sear cutter made some mistakes um, and I feel like realistically for every 10 products there's at least one or two fails every time I think that's very normal for most small business owners but I feel like we don't often show that so this is my little sticker storage box and I'm just gonna organize my restart stickers right now so first up is this Nico sticker there was only one left and this one has very thin bezels the ones I made today are laminated um, and they have thicker bezels. I personally like them better. So I have restocked six new stickers. I think I will use the old design with the thin bezels and without the lamination as a freebie to give to someone. And then I also restocked the Chevre art stickers. The ones I had had no bezels and no lamination. So I made new ones with pretty thick bezels and they are now laminated and more high quality. I love how they turned out. Then I had only one recent Cyrus wedding sticker left. These are also not laminated so I made six new ones who are laminated but it's the exact same design. We get to my personal favorite design which is the leaf you gotta do what makes you happy sticker. I had a lot of those left but they were all not laminated and I all cut them by hand so they're kind of like wonky and not completely round. So I restocked them with lamination now and a perfect round cut. And then we get to the most popular stickers in my shop that were also sold out which are the KK Slider album Spotify stickers. I restocked four of each design. We have the Welcome Horizon sticker, the Bubblegum KK sticker, the KK Fuke sticker, my personal favorite, the beautiful Still Cupcake sticker. I also have the Red Painting sticker and the Zelda Switch sticker, but I still had quite a few of those in stock, so I didn't restock them today. Now, of course, follows the tedious administration part where I just have to fill out the quantities and restock in my Etsy listings. I also want to take some new product pictures because the ones I have are pictures without the bezels um, and I really would like new pictures. Time to take some product pictures. So these are the product pictures I end up taking. They don't fully fit on the screen, but I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. So yeah. So now it's a little bit later in the day and it's time to go run some errands. Me again, back from the store, I got six A4 bubble mailers. I got this watercolor paint block, but I found the paper is great for art prints. I got ribbons for packaging. I got some thank you cards and sturdy mailers. As I said, I had some studying to do. So even though it was already pretty late, as you can see by the lighting, here is me annotating my textbook. Later that night, when I was done studying, I did get some designing done. Right here, I was just sitting on my bed, working on a new art print. I'm making a print called New Horizons Compendium, where I take all the flowers and fruits from the game Animal Crossing New Horizons and I display them in kind of a vintage compendium kind of style. I did the same thing with the flora and fauna of the game Breath of the Wild from the Zelda series, and I was super happy with that print. So I was also very happy to make an Animal Crossing version. Right here, I'm trying to very awkwardly show the camera my progress. You'll see the end result later in this video, but yeah, I got quite a bit done. 
The next day, it was time for more restocking. This time I was restocking this Hyrule Compendium art print. I printed three new prints and made sure to cut them perfectly. And here are the finished art prints. Later that day, it was time to pack some orders. The first order I had to pack was for Christine. She ordered the Hyrule Compendium art print. I wrapped it in tissue paper and then wrapped that in ribbon to keep it nice and safe. I love to write a note to every single customer pretty extensively because I feel like it just makes it more personal. I add a pouch with freebie stickers to every order and, of course, my business card. The next order I had to pack was for Crystal. She ordered the mystery sticker pack, so here are the five stickers that she got. I wrap them again in tissue paper and in ribbon. I took my time writing her thank you card. And then I just added some freebies and my business card. I send all my sticker orders in these bubble mailers to make sure they don't get damaged. The next order was for Sarah who ordered the recent Cyrus wedding sticker and the bubblegum KK sticker. Sarah is a good Instagram friend of mine so I wrote her a quite extensive note. And after adding some freebies, the order was ready to be shipped. The last order I needed to pack today was an order for Miriam, who ordered the mystery pack. Here are the five stickers she got. I think by now we know how it looks to pack an order, so I trimmed it down a bit. Miriam also got the recent Cyrus wedding sticker and the Nico sticker, which I packed separately. Miriam is also a good Instagram friend, so my note to her was also quite extensive. And now all four packages are ready to be shipped. Later that night, I lit some candles and sat down at my desk while watching Froggy Crossing YouTube videos and started drawing. I was working on the fourth installment in my Animal Crossing NPC quilt design series. I'm planning to make a sticker pack containing about 10 round stickers with fan art of an Animal Crossing character surrounded by a quote from the game. I'm right now working on Wardell, who is so kind and sweet, and the quote I chose is, enjoy the world's sounds and their quiet beauty. Here is just some very sped up footage of me drawing. I don't know about you guys, but I am an insane night owl and I love being awake when everyone else is asleep. I feel super creative during those hours and just drawing in the middle of the night with my tea and my candles, is, it's really my happy place. Finishing the Wardell design was really the perfect end to my weekend. I also promised to show the finished design of the New Horizons Compendium. I finished this off camera, but yeah, here it is. And yeah, that pretty much sums up my weekend. I feel like I had a pretty productive weekend. We got a lot done and I made some progress with new designs, so I'm happy with that. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting me and my small business and making my dreams come true. So yeah, I think that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my very first video and my very first studio vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night. Bye. Do oh, I have, this is so cringe, oh my God. Ah. <coughs> Stop. The bubble, bubble, the bubble, bu <laughs> oh my god, what is this sound? <laughs> oh my god.